Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, I am going to explain you how we can use a switch case in Power Automate Flow. I will take an entire example having a SharePoint list and there will, there will be a choice column in that. And based on the choice values, we will implement a switch case in the Power Automate Flow. I will take you to the system and we will see the complete thing step by step. Not only sending emails on each cases, also I will show you how we can create a meeting as well as how we can uh, post in a chat uh, for the task details. So all these things I will show you in the system as well. So now let me go to the system and uh, we will go through step by step. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe to the channel so that you will get notification on the videos that I will make on this channel so now let us first understand what is the switch case in power automate like in any programming language you can use switch case so where basically you want on certain uh, you know some certain matches will happen then you want to execute some of your uh, let's say flow actions in this case now uh, so how exactly it will work is when you add a switch uh, switch action into this your flow then it will allow you to create uh, cases for it so you can create multiple cases on that suppose uh, the case one uh, you know matches then all other cases will not be executed same way if case one let's say didn't match then you'll go to the next case which is case two and then in that case if case two matches then uh, all other cases apart from case two will not be executed and if none of the cases matches then the default case will be executed this is how it will work this is normal programming uh, you know everywhere switch case is there the same thing uh, and i'll show you here as well now let me first go and show you the sharepoint list so in this case if you'll see here i have a list here and you can see here there is a task priority column is there so if you look at the values now these are the values on this like high, low, medium and no priority. Now, in this case, what I am trying to do here is if task priority is high, I want to do something. Let's say I'll show you different, different uh, flow actions that you can execute on this. Let's say if it is high, then probably you want to create a uh, team meeting. Uh, if it is low, probably you want to have a message in the teams. So uh, if it is medium, then probably want to send an email. Uh, so different, different things will do it here. So now, uh, you know, what I'll do here is I'll first create the flow here. I'll go here Now look at this. The site is finance department and, uh, you know, this is the list, which is task detail. So I'll go to the, uh, if you have not logged in, then you can go to make.powerautomate.com and then you can log in with your credential where you can create a flow. I'll click on create and I'll create automated cloud flow here. I'll give a, a flow name. I'll give test flow name as test. Uh, I'll give this one. I'll I'll tell you why I'm giving this as a test flow. And then I'll uh, want this to be, uh, it should be executed when an item is created or modified, both the cases. So that if I will edit this and change the task priority, then uh, it should trigger an email. I have also written a complete blog post on this. I'll put the link in the video description from where you can download the flow and you can try it out also. The entire flow you can uh, you know, download and try it out. I will execute the flow and show you as well. Let me first show you how we can uh, create the flow and then add the switch case. I, I'll click on create. Now you can see here the flow got created now. You can see whenever an item is created or modified, this is what is the uh, invalid connection okay now you can see here the connection is done so i'll choose the site name in this case so i need to choose the site name the site name in this case is finance uh, department you can see here and the list name i'll choose here is ask details so i'll go to your uh, this is the list now on this once you select it then you can add a switch case here so if you'll just select and switch you can see here on the control switch is there once you add it now in the new interface you can see here uh, this is the default case by default it is there and uh, then click on add case you can see here you can add cases into this you can see i can add more cases into it now for example the first case i want the value so uh, on the switch first we'll go to the switch on switch basically which one we uh, want it in this case I want this task priority column. 
so i'll go to this one and then uh, i will say sorry i will go here and then show more and i'll pick the past priority this column you can see here now in this case the values so what the values you want now in this case if you'll see here i'll go here you can see high low uh, you know medium like this is there so i will say hi and then second one i will let's say show you low like this and within that suppose you want to send an email you click here add an action so i, I will say send email v2 let's say this one now you can see here this is how you create this so this is how you can use it what i'll do now here is i will not save this i will do just go back to make dot power automate dot com to the home page basically i have already created everything so i don't want to drag it too much the video it will if i'll make the complete video then uh, you know complete flow it will take a lot of time so what i'll do is i will show you the flow here which i have created and i have added different different action i'll i'll explain you everything now you can see here power automate switch case this is the flow name and uh, once i click on edit you will be able to see uh, you know all the actions i have added on this on the case so if you'll see here there are you can see there are four items on this high low medium no priority right so here in this case if you look at this i have taken for task priority same one and then the case it is low then second one i have taken medium third one i have taken high and the this the default case right so uh, in the first one if it is low what i'm doing here is now look at this flow board I have taken this so that it will trigger a message to the user to the assigned to person to whom basically we assign the task and this is the message hello and the name a task is assigned in the details so if any task let's say you created an item into the SharePoint list and then you see that uh, you know the priority is low then they will just get a message on this in the second one I have taken another condition that if the uh, task date is end uh, or the end date is less than 10 days then only we will trigger an email uh, you can see here we will send an email saying that task deadline reminder like this so that means in the SharePoint task list if uh, you know the uh, the priority is medium and then we will check if the date is within the 10 days then it will send an email same way for the third one which is a high priority task if it is a high priority task then it will create a team meeting i have also created a separate video of how we can create a team meeting uh, in power automate i'll put the link in the video description you can have a look at this so here if you'll see here i have created a team meeting quick list uh, title subject so uh, the task title and the description i have taken as a message and then uh, start time uh, end time all these things i have added in the calendar it will create a event and the attendees are the basically the assigned to and the manager i have taken it so uh, it will actually create a uh, team meeting uh, if the task priority is high and then the default action so you can see here this is the default action i have not added anything on this so uh, now what if so that will execute basically uh, you know if none of these cases fulfilled so in this case it is no priority if this will be no priority then the, the default case will go there right so this is how the flow is now uh, this flow is already saved over there so what i'll do here is i'll not touch anything on this now let's go to the list and we will try to uh you know we will try to let's say add one item on this so i'll say item by bj and assign to so i'll already i'll assign start it let's say i'll say it is let's say tomorrow end date should be the after tomorrow and task priority i will say low priority and i'll put the manager everything i'll put uh, probably the same manager uh, let's say task description like you can uh, you can change these things like you can get the manager all these things you can do but for this form i have taken like this so i'll save this now look at this the task priority is low here in this case so ideally 
if it is low uh, and then uh, uh, this should get one uh, message here uh, we will see uh, when the flow triggers i'll just refresh it once just to see that the flow triggers successfully so now look at this this uh, executed 14 second ago and you can see here item by bj is the task name and they got a message on this in the same way if i will uh, let's say edit this task and i will change the uh, priority to high i'll save it then according to our flow it should create a uh, meeting the outlook calendar so we will just wait for the flow to trigger and then we will see in the calendar whether it is creating a meeting or not so now you can look at it this uh, flow which is triggered now 40 seconds before so i will go to i'll open the outlook here because it will create a event in the outlook calendar and i'll go to the calendar here and let us look at this you can see here item by bj so this is basically the uh, you know the calendar or the meeting that it created in the outlook calendar right so uh, you know this is how we can use power automate uh, switch case uh, in a flow and while um, you know you will you'll get the link in the video description where you can download the flow uh, i have written a complete article and in that the flow um, you know link is there which you can download and you can upload and then you can use that and i'll just uh, tell you that this is the list task title description assigned to priority start date end date so all these columns whatever are available in that uh, you know tutorial i have explained everything so you should not be any problem on you know executing this flow as well okay so uh, if you want similar kind of videos then uh, subscribe to our youtube channel so that you'll get notified whenever i'll make you this kind of videos i mostly make videos on sharepoint power platform spfx all these technologies i make videos on that thank you and have a nice day